Hello, good morning everybody. It's nice to see you today for our very first story and song of this year. Hooray! We've got some new people watching today who might never have seen story and song before, which is really exciting. We're very happy to see you all. I hope you're having a brilliant day on Class Dojo. Has everybody said hello to our new teacher? Miss Ewing in reception. She's new and she's very excited too. New Ewing. In reception, we're doing rhymes and it's nearly rhyme. Okay. <laughs> um, today's story is a beautiful story about somebody who feels a bit sad because they're on their own. Oh. But they might make, meet some new friends along their journey. Our story today is lost and found, but we're not going to start with our story. We're going to start with some singing. Of course, as always. Which hello song would you like to start with today? Um, the good morning one. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? I've really enjoyed seeing lots of people signing and singing that one on Class Dojo. Excellent. That's lovely to hear. Mm. And the other one? Hello, hello. Okay, you ready for hello, hello? Here we go. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. It's good to see you. I say hello to you and all your friends. I say hello. Let's meet together. Let's read together. Let's have fun with friends. I've missed doing Story and Song. Yay! I'm so pleased to be back. And we're in a new place for Story and Song today. Yes, because we're at school. We are at school. We've got our world map behind us today. And today's story doesn't start there, but it does take us all the way down here today. To Antarctica. Are you ready, Miss Clance? I'm ready. Okay. Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy. And one cold autumn morning he found a penguin at his door. The boy was not sure what this uninvited guest wanted or where it was from but it had already outstayed its welcome. For a problem like this, there was really only one thing to do. Find out where it came from and return it. But no one, it seemed, was missing a penguin. So this was a problem that would not be solved so easily. In fact, it was beginning to look like a much bigger problem than the boy had realised. The boy decided that some proper thinking was called for, and after discovering that penguins come from the South Pole, he had an idea how to get the penguin home. The boy asked a large ship to take them there. But his voice was much too small to be heard. So, when things aren't going your way, sometimes it's best to do them yourself. The boy decided that together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. They took the boy's rowboat out of the cupboard, made a few repairs, and packed everything they would need. The boy worked out a plan for their journey. But he didn't once stop to think about why his visitor was there in the first place. That night, he slept fitfully, for tomorrow he was going to try to cross the ocean to the other side of the earth. It's a long journey. In the morning, they pushed the rowboat out across the harbour and set off, prepared for anything the sea might do. The boy rowed all day stopping only for lunch, and all seemed to be working out well. 
But as the day gave way to night, the small boat was a very long way from the shore. And they were about to find out exactly what the sea could do when it wanted. The wind howled, the rain poured in sideways, and the boy could not tell which way was which. The waves rolled and grew and washed the penguin's suitcase <gasps> overboard. When they thought the sea could not be any more angry, waves came that were as big as mountains, and it looked certain that their boat would be washed away. Look at this wave <gasps> like a mountain. After the storm had passed, they clung to the side of their little boat with no hope left. When an unlikely friend rose from the deep, and put them back on their way. Oh, That's he a helped. very big octopus. <laughs> and finally, after coming such a long way, they saw it in the distance, the South Pole. The boy's work was done. They said an awkward goodbye. Look at all the penguins. Wow. Something didn't feel right at all, and the boy wasn't sure what it was. But then the penguin's lost suitcase floated up alongside the boat, and everything became clear. The penguin had not been lost at all, but just lonely, and perhaps he wasn't the only one. You can see the penguins taking some photos with the boy. The boy turned his boat around as fast as possible and headed back to the South Pole. He searched and searched, but he could not find the penguin anywhere. He was sure he would never see his visitor again, and he set off for home. Now look closely at this picture. This is the boy going back to find the penguin. Oh yeah, yeah. But who else can you see in this picture? It's the penguin going to look for the boy. After rowing towards home for some time, he noticed something in the water ahead of him. Who's this? He rode closer and closer until he could see the penguin. And side by side, these friends from opposite sides of the ocean rode home together. What a lovely ending to that story. They were both lonely and they were both looking for each other. They're friends now. And they're friends now from other par different parts of the world. Yeah. And they're friends. We've got a very fun song about penguins, but everybody needs to stand up for this one. Now, we're going to pretend that we are penguins, and you are going to pretend that you are penguins. You can copy our actions and join in with the words when you get the hang of it. Are you ready to be a penguin? Now, penguins, their feet stay quite close together. And they've got their, their wings that they use a bit more like flippers, don't they? Yep. We do a little bit of a little bit of a wiggle to get ready. Okay. Are you ready, Spice? I'm ready. Okay. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins begin. Right flipper. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, left flipper. Woo! Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? Take a look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins, attention! Penguins, begin! Right flipper, Left flipper, right 
Thank you so much for joining us today. We're back tomorrow for another story and song. Have a great day on Class Dojo. We'll see you soon.